Hey everybody, welcome to perhaps my final game of Wingspan here on Board Game Arena. Uh, the new Oceana expansion will be released for the Monster Couch version of Wingspan tomorrow. And uh, I did upload a couple videos of my uh, games on the beta, which were vastly more popular than these Wingspan uh, Board Game Arena games. So as much as I do enjoy these, I think that I'd also very much enjoyed the Wingspan Oceana. So uh, we'll probably be switching to that for a while, if not indefinitely. But for now, let's see what we got going on. I don't think my opponent is rated particularly strong. Um, we won't make the tray we like. All cards that uh, cost two of the same food type. We do not like that. Our starting hand is pretty much equally not great four of my five cards have two of the same food type in their starting uh cost so that leaves us with a wood stork as the only option but we don't like the wood stork either it's a bonus card bird uh no rat for my red tail hawk which might have been a good one it's a point generator Plenty of grain for Clark's Nutcracker. We need big birds. We need body part birds. Uh, the obvious choice, I would say, one grub. We're not starting first, so that's a little dangerous. We are going, man. Maybe we do that, and maybe we grab the Nutcracker as well. And uh, <clears throat> hope we don't lose that grub but if we do maybe we play the nutcracker and dig for food until we have two grubs for this uh oh uh, what is that a stilt not my favorite plan but if we get that grub we're gonna hope for something good out of our we're gonna draw grab two off the top and see what happens go with body parts they're not body parts here Let's just cracker if that's the only thing we get in our uh, forest. There's plenty of grain in the tray. So maybe we even play that first for the end of round goal. Again, I really don't like delaying card access, but it seems like in this starting in the forest, all right? So. Oh, Purple Martin, where's it going? I'm going to go going in the wetlands. All right, so my opponent is somewhat comp uh, competent. Grain, my opponent has two, four, so chances of that grub disappearing on me are increasing, but we can just grab food, two food at a time until that reroll. That grub has yet to go away. So let's see what we got. We are going to be able to get eggs into that forest. So my, my opponent might have a second wetland bird coming, or they're just going to grab two cards at a time. Probably the more likely bet with that food spread is that opponent's going to grab a couple cards off the top. And we will grab a grub and then a grain with our nutcracker, and then we'll get that uh, stilt down. Not a terrible start, especially if we get something good with that stilt. Opponent grabbing one card, grabbing a second card. Looks like they're all coming off the deck. Three cards at a time, not bad. Get to keep two of them. Cannot complain about that, but in a turn, we'll be grabbing two cards at least. Giving my opponent the reroll, but I'm all right with that. I've got three cards now, so they might have something good. We're going to hope they don't get themselves a wood duck. We're looking at uh, 
Kels. I feel like I played this person before, but maybe not. 122 is their ELO. Not too many games. We have uh, not played any games as of yet. Chelst. See what you got, Chelst. She obviously knows enough about Ringspan to know that you want to start in your wetlands with a good card draw. So, not falling for the temptation to play that uh, Martin in the grasslands, which some people do. I would say not too great effect. Well, that is not particularly great, but I think what we're going to do is lay eggs, play that. Well, we could grab food while there's a grain in there, but I'm not so sure we like anything else in here. But I'm thinking we lay eggs and play the turkey vulture into the wetlands to improve our own card draw. But I think we're just going to get some food. If my opponent leaves that grain there, we might as well grab them. Or we could play the turkey vulture into the uh, we're gonna grab a we'll grab a rat or a cherry. Like a rat. We just want to get this grain while we can. I don't generally like getting food while I don't know what I'm going to be spending it on next, but I'm kind of warming up to it a little bit. So let's see. If my opponent plays something with three um, egg capacity in the forest, I'll have to play that turkey in the forest and lay enough eggs. I've got three turns. That gives me enough turns to lay eggs. Oh, it's going for more than three. I mean, he's got two turns left. That means he can get four. And plus, yeah, I think he's got, she's got this end of round goal now. We can only get three, so we're going to do that for the one point. And I think we're playing that turkey vulture in the wetlands and hoping for a better tray uh, round two. That eastern kingbird. can be a bit meddling. Next up, we need eggs in the wetland, and we are currently only have three spaces to our opponent's three places. But I don't think we're going to be getting anything else down in the wetlands. I could be wrong. It's not like this is at all a start for a wetlands engine. Well, chickadee will be nice. I don't think it's worth going for that. Well, it's got a body part, of course, but... Oh, as does our winged. Yeah. Uh, I think we got to... We'll grab that grasshopper sparrow for the eggs. It's not the best card, but it's not the worst card. I don't particularly care for that tough tit mouse, given our... Well, you know what? We could... We have to lay eggs. Mm. Don't know if it's worth it. Play the grasshopper sparrow. I guess we'd have to. I don't think it's worth it. Building out to more than. There's a big change between getting down one forest bird and two forest birds. Because then you get two food at a time. Not such a big change from two forest birds to three forest birds, because then you have to, you still only get two food where you play a, uh, you can play a, uh, pay a card for another food, and I don't really feel that's worth it most of the time. I am wondering. I think we're going to do one more round of food now. So we'll grab a cherry. We're going to do it anyways. After I just gave that big speech, we are going to do the double play in our forest. Doesn't help much with end of round goals, but take you. 
Now we can put down our grasshopper sparrow. We have only one ground. We're not looking good on the, oh, we're gonna have two ground nests. My opponent has a wild card there. I wonder if we wanna go for that Eastern bluebird. I'm not feeling great about our current options, but they're not terrible either. <clears throat> I think we're gonna get down our two forest birds, get the food for our sparrow and our warbler and get those down in the grasslands. Have a nice even three cards or two cards in each habitat. We'll have one, two. We'll have the lower bounds for our anatomist at that time. Tempted to hold on to that guy. Yeah, I think we will for that uh, bluebird. Not quite ready to go for it yet, but actually I do see that there's a cherry in the tray. Don't necessarily, well, yeah, we'll spend the cherry and hope we get that cherry again. <laughs> so now three food card and a point. Ah, shoot. Got a little sidetrack there. Got to do that first. Not feeling super strong in this game. Feeling like our opponent. I, I base my feeling on how the game is going largely by how the end of round goals are looking. And uh, that's not a good metric to judge your uh, progression in the game by any extent, but I still keep on falling into that trap of, uh, oh, I'm losing the first two end of round goals. Things are looking bad when uh, in all actuality, there are, there are, there are more telling signs and uh, it's just easiest to go by that end of round goal. All right, now our double play. The cherry remains. We're gonna hope for cherry and then a <clears throat> grub on the reroll. Oh man, my opponent's coming in strong. Wrong bird. There we go. All right, let's grab that grub. I mean the gray, the cherry, and see if we get ourselves a grub and a grain. Just gave my opponent a grub herself. Feeling like my opponent is playing quite competently doing a very good job. So she might be quite underrated. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna grab the food and then we're gonna have to do a card draw and grab that. Uh, I like the blue bird. There is another body part bird, but we all know that the worst card in the deck is the yellow breasted chat, so. Okay, can I just surrender all my ELO points now? It's clearly taking a turn for the worse, but at least we get to do this and gobble up all the good food. I'll take this guy, thank you. Leave my opponent with some odd samplings. Sometimes you have these games that are just low grub. There's not a ton you can do about it. Opponent with two star nests. We have two ground nests.
the chat is almost a possibility. We got another cherry in the tray. We got the yellow headed blackbird. I mean, if I grab those, I might be kind of set, but we're not quite ready for that yet. We're not quite ready to say we are going to grab the uh, chat for God's sakes. It's a nice whooping crane for my opponent. Should she wish to, oh, she's already got the eggs, so she can gobble that up, no problem. Things could be getting a little, but you know what? American Coot meets nothing. It would be a complete waste of time for us to play, but uh, at least we can discard it for food. That's why I always say three cards in the forest are so much better than one. I would say we maybe have one more card draw in us. Nine, or how many more turns? 11 more turns, yep, goodbye, Whooping Crane. Opponent's food generation is okay. Only two food at a time, so. That might be a hefty order, even though it's three omnivores. Opponent has the luxury of the, uh, oh, yeah, plus it's a ground nest. Wild turkey is there. Might not mind that one, given our current food spread. And Ninga does nothing for us. Acorn woodpecker is definitely a no-go. We have a zero ground nest, but we do have a warbler and a potential uh, blackbird, that would be a six point play. Might be something we have to do at some point. American veteran is of no use to us. All right. So how many, uh, we still only have, still lacking in a body part bird, so. Don't think the grackle is going to be our pick. We have three ground nests. <clears throat> I think we're going to chuck. Do we chuck the bitter in? Probably. We'll chuck the coot to start. There's some good food for our current card selection. We do have a couple bombs coming down. We'll take all of that. Interesting. I guess we gotta take a cherry for our wild turkey. Get another cash in there. And we certainly will need another grain. Now we can get our grasslands going somewhat. We got two eggs, so we'll do a double play of our bluebird into a turkey. My opponent will play a whooping crane and we'll have three ground nests each. So we'll see if my opponent has anything else up her sleeve. Did I call it or what? up by a bonus card now. <clears throat> I think the plan is to get down the <clears throat> uh, probably the vulture, or I mean, sorry, the uh, this fine double play right here. Get some eggs down. And then get down our blackbird, since the tray is not particularly um, suitable for, actually we might wanna, 
we might need to hold out until the final round when the tray gets reset. We're going to hope we see a body part bird that uh, looks looks right before the take for the taking and if we do uh, we'll grab it up of course we might get one here my opponent has four bowl birds so we're not looking particularly great hey hey that's a pretty good one. And there's a, I wonder if we, yeah, let's just grab it. Do we get the food first? I think we get the food first. There's a bit of a risk, but the, but the, uh, my opponent just grabbed food. And if, I mean, just grabbed cards. So we're gonna hope that they don't grow for it. Then we're going to hope. Two grubs would be nice, but we need to save one of those. We don't really need any more grains. We need two, three, four grubs, however, and only one grain. So we're going to chuck our coot. Say, so give me that. And unfortunately, our nutcracker shall get nothing. I'm still not feeling amazing about this game. I think we can play. Oh. I guess we need to just lay eggs and grab that, or grab the ibis, and then lay some eggs for the end of round. And then we have a very limited turns to get done what we want to get done. So we need to get the, wait a minute, I got winged. And we've, do we need to get all three of these down? There's no way we can do that. Not looking great, I would say. The food costs are a little bit prohibitive. Well, there's our backup. <laughs> Not much of a backup either. More cards to tuck for food. So we're going to hope. Oh, there's another one. We are going to hope our forest provides. We've got food for two of them. So yeah, we're going to do all right. We're going to be able to get down our blackbird, our uh, warbler, and our ibis. I feel like we're not going to win this game, but we will have done all that we can. Do we discard the rat or do we hold on to it? I really feel like we can. Uh, famous last words, but we'll see how that does. One, two, three. So we are set there. We are going to get to re-roll the tray. So that'll be nice. I mean, re-roll the bird feeder. I think I call the, uh, the uh, bird feeder the tray a bit too often. We'll do that. We'll get, we'll do that. And then we'll get our, this guy. And I have four. So, once again, we need to grab that final. Had I not discarded that rat, I could have uh, grabbed a random food and uh, let my nutcracker cash. But at the end of the day, it's just a point either way. So, I do not feel too bad about it. We're going to get down two bull nests to our opponents. Four. So this end around not going our way. So yeah, we're behind by quite a bit. We've got some bombs coming, but only a three-point play with this blackbird, six-point play. 
then this guy will be a six plus four is ten. Not terrible. End of end of game. But not the best either. Let's see here. We've got neck, winged. Yep, that's the way it's going to be. Apparently, yet we have one extra fish. Come with four cards and a smattering of food. We do lose this game it's going to be quite the crushing defeat they have a four point engine essentially we have a five point engine but we are only going to run it for a single turn this will be five this will be this would be 15 points this is going to be three plus uh let's see here three plus ten plus five, so 18 points. So we are certainly better off playing these cards. Pwn is two bonus cards is really what I'm worried about, I'll be honest. My phone is going for food, which makes me think they're not quite prepared for the end game as we were, but so we'll see. The opponent has a cube up on us, seven points up on us. They don't have a cube up on us, but once we play this white-faced Ibis, which will basically tie it, they'll still have an extra round on us. So not feeling, plus the end of round goal, things are looking a little rough. Been experiencing some losses as of late, and all of my wingspan senses tell me that this one is not going to be the exception. My opponent's going to have to have some pretty terrible bonus cards to uh, uh, allow the, my my winning of this one. And down go, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Point could be throwing the game if she's just focusing on ground nest, but I, my hopes are not high. I'm guessing that that is a bonus card bird, so we'll have to see. We're essentially tied now with her end of round, so she's got a whole round ahead of us. It says we're up by three, but of course she's going to get those three back with all of her bowl nests. One, two, three, four, five. She probably has bowl nests as the uh, as a bonus card. So and this is a uh, this is a three point engine. Would have been better to go with the uh, forest four points, maybe even five. But who am I to complain? So we're going to be up by, or we're going to be down by three with one bonus card to my opponent's two. And I just feel as though she's got the uh, bull nest ground type. She has a qu clean sweep of all end of round goals. It's hard to recover from that. Well, that's a good start. Uh, is it a tie? Did I? Oh, she's going to win on food. All right. Well, that's too bad. She's got one food on us. Had I, oh, no. I was about to say, if I did not discard that, uh, that uh, rat, but then, of course, I'd be one point lower. Okay. Well, not the worst game I've ever played. Not crushing defeat, but uh, 
my opponent is quite amazed. I lost 31 points on that one. So uh, that is Wingspan for you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed watching that one. It might be the last one I ever play on here, or at least the last one for a while. We'll say GG to her. Uh, and that'll be that. So probably sometime soon, I'll be posting an Oceana game. And uh, let's hope that one goes well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.